there's eight people who'll get to the final of, of the Olympic Games. There's very little difference in fitness, there's very little difference in strength. It's what's going on up here is going to determine who's going to win it, you know, and who wants it most. I got into athletics when I was at school. Um, when I was at Lumavati Grammar, and from there my PE teacher, Liz McGuire, said, would have any interest to go into athletics outside of school, and then I ended up going along down here, and from there I've led to where I am here. To be honest, it was kind of just a bit of luck that I got into it. He turned up at the track one day, being the good student that he was, he didn't want to disappoint the school teacher. It sort of started like that, and then it was, I think it was actually Shauna or another fellow, Gavin Norris, who I was working with at the time, recognised that he was actually quick, so and they said this, you know, wee guy can sprint. 2004 was my first real year, which I ran 10 nines. 2008, I had Beijing, which I ran 1062. I've ran 1022 this year, so I mean, each year's gradually gone down, and the Olympic A standard is 1018, so that's, you know, at the minute I'm 400 of a second away. The A standard, obviously, gives you automatic qualification. I'm visually impaired, but I mean, I, I don't go around telling everybody my business. Um, you know, you just get on with it and do what you can. But uh, my dad told my coach, and then from there, they looked into Paralympics. I have, at that point, known nothing about it. And but I thought maybe this is something, you know, is something that I need to go do. And, and from there, I decided to go do it. And it, it, it gave me the opportunity to then finish school and do my levels and go on and and go into this full time and from there has given me the opportunity to have success in Paralympics and and also to move forward and try to qualify for the Olympics. Technically he's superb, he's, he's one of the top athletes in the world where it comes to executing technique and his mechanics um, and that has been acknowledged by you know even Tyson Gay in the past week where he's remarked that you know Jason is, is sort of in the top five athletes of uh, of technique and again it's work in progress it's like everything you know and it's and we'll be looking for incremental improvements this winter again each drill you're focusing on your technique that you're going to use when you actually come to run so like a lot of things are keeping your knees high your feet point toes pointed up uh, chest up and then your arms swinging so your arms always so your arm comes up and you're wanting to get good leg lift or knee lift and that's pretty much each drill is trying to replicate what you're going to do when it comes to racing and then if you can execute your technique right in your race obviously you're going to run quicker. London in 2012 is, is a very realistic goal for Jason to aspire to. I think he's got um, another year's tough work in Florida and support from you know the likes of the Sports Institute of Northern Ireland and the funding bodies and things like that will enable them to do it. It's a sport that's dominated by Afro-Caribbeans and, and American sprinters and for, um, you know, a, a, a sprinter from Derry at, at, uh, to, to run 1018 would be a magnificent achievement. The planning at this stage is all about competing in the Olympics, two weeks later competing in the Paralympics in the same stadium. Um, and the Olympics being able to, to perform to its absolute maximum best and um, carrying that through then to the Paralympics where he retains his 100 and 200 metre titles and maybe throw in a 400 metres as well. He's pushing the boat out.